pitch comes in from somebody who's got a great idea. And nine times out of 10, it probably sounds insane. You know, all these great companies that sure. we're looking at here, like SpaceX, well, that sounds insane, right? You have that, that's your initial reaction. So how do you figure out, no, that one really is insane. And this one we could make happen. Does it, does it boil down to the founder, you know, the, the guy or gal standing in front of you? Yeah, I mean, there's really three things at its core. There's a team that produces a product that ultimately touches a, a consumer. And those are the only three things that matter in this. Um, people will use fancy terms like market or total addressable market. And uh, when it comes down to it, you're betting on a founder and their team or the ability to recruit a team to make a world-class product and to not give up and to delight customers. Uh, and, and it's pretty basic in that regard. Um, and then what you're doing is we have a milestone-based system. And this is why capitalism is absolutely fantastic. Uh, and I, I believe in America more now than ever is because it, this merit-based system, people can do just a little bit of work. Uh, and all of the lessons on how to build a company are online. They're on YouTube. They're on various services available for free. I, I, I never had a chance to go to MIT, but I listened to MIT lectures in my spare time for fun. Uh, all the world's information is now indexed on YouTube and other platforms, and you can learn these skills at home in just a couple of months and build a prototype. And if you build a great prototype and you get a couple of customers maybe to embrace what's called an MVP, a minimum viable product, uh, you can bring that to angel investors. Those investors might give you 25, 50K and you get 10 of them. Now you hire an employee or two. And then you go uh, downstream to Saks. Maybe Saks puts in a million or $2 million, $3 million. And, and each milestone, you have a chance to raise more money. And so it's an absolutely uh, beautiful and chaotic system. Uh, and capitalism is alive and well in America. And opportunity is actually more fair and more distributed than it's ever been. But we live mm -hmm. with a narrative today that the world is more biased and there's more gatekeepers. And it's simply not true. Um, this is the most open capitalism and entrepreneurship has ever been. Any skill you want to learn is available for free. If you have an Android phone that costs about 50 to $200 and you have a connection which costs 25 to 50 bucks a month, it could not be more equitable than it is today. It never has been. So if you're out there listening and you want to start a company, just learn how to, to build websites or be a designer, uh, a product manager, and get a couple of friends together and start building something that you want to see in the world. It's really that simple, folks. It's exciting. I mean, I, it's very I exciting. thought, I think one of the businesses you were in, uh, yeah, Facebook, as I mentioned, yeah. uh, you wound up disinvesting from back in 2018. Now, why was that? Was that political? You know, is it like during the Trump? I heard you speak with Kara Swisher about you know, who I also, she's fun and irascible I, in a good way. Yeah. But what was the story behind that pullout in, in 18? Well, I, you know, I, I, didn't like a lot of Facebook's behavior. I wasn't originally an investor. I invested in another company that got acquired by uh, Facebook. And I just thought Zuckerberg's uh, process of releasing products was not very thoughtful. Um, and I probably left a modest amount on the table, but it's probably a good trade overall. Um, and I just haven't been a fan of the way he moves fast and breaks things. I think he could be a lot more considered in how he built products. And, and we've seen that over time. You know, um, now social media is a very hard business to run, uh, and uh, we've seen that. So, you know, it's 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 not just him, but I think he could have been a lot more thoughtful. And you know, I like to vote with my dollar on businesses that I think are world positive, and and, and founders I think are world positive. And I just haven't been a fan of how Zuck well, what, is what do you make He's of, obviously you know, excellent at what he does, though. As somebody who's not in that industry at all, I wonder. You know, you hear these reports of, for example, Instagram. You know, causing massive depression amongst huge swaths of young girls. Yeah. Um, and obviously what Facebook does as well, the, manip the manipulation and trying to get in your head and walking, you know, trying to make it more addictive and trying to get more and more yeah. of your time without much care for mental health. And I, I can see the capitalist argument, you know, like pure capitalism might not factor that in. It might. You can make another argument, too. But do you think he cares about any of that? I mean, maybe that's a simple question, but do you think he gives a damn? I think he probably wanted to win more than he cared about those things. And, and the techniques of winning, you know, sometimes are to remove friction and get people addicted to these products. I don't think it's limited to social media. I think all screen time, you know, too much screen time is not good for your health. I think it's, it's probably one of the reasons we're seeing increases in anxiety and depression amongst kids. Um, and they should really be out with their friends in nature and doing activities. I think anybody who's got kids... Uh, understands this when your kids use an iPad for too long, you know, maybe you get a little permissive on a weekend and you, you don't have some help to, you know, watch the kids or something. You don't have an activity set up for that day. 
Kids get weird if they spend too much time online. Adults get weird if they spend too much time online. So I think we're navigating that as a species, really. And, and you, you really think have to monitor screen time, limit it, both for yourself and uh, for your kids. If you look at the Chinese government, um, they've passed an edict that, you know, you can't play video games, uh, but on the weekends and for a certain number of hours. Um, now, we, we have personal freedom here in America. You can never pass a law like that. But I think um, they probably know something um, and they have a concern that's very valid, which is kids who play too many video games or on social media too often, or even adults who are addicted to these screens, uh, life can get a little uh, anxious. And uh, we need as human beings to be more social and to meet more people and spend time with our friends. That's why I always mm -hmm. take David out to dinner and give him a big hug when I see him. <laughs> Wait, so where are you living now? Oh, we both live in the Bay Area. Uh, okay, okay. Mostly. So you just got out of San Francisco. I left San Francisco, the city, because, you know, I, and, and I'll probably wind up leaving California uh, for, for Austin or for Miami soon, because I, I actually think my thesis is that the California problems, um, and this is why I'm watching the Chesa Boudin thing and, and the governor's race, I, I don't know that it can be solved in the next 10 or 20 years, having lived through New York in the 70s and 80s and watched, you know, how long mm -hmm. that took to work out. I think this might be a multi-decade decline and we might be only okay. halfway into the first, you know, half of California's decline. It's getting hot outside and everyone's starting to fire up the grills. If you are looking for the perfect cuts to put on the grill this summer, look no further. Good Ranchers is the place to get American beef, chicken, and seafood. They sell 100% American meat and ship it straight to your door. Right now, they're giving away two free 18-ounce prime center-cut ribeyes to every person that uses my code Megan, get you two free 18 ounce prime cut ribeyes. That's a good deal. I want one right now. That's over two pounds of prime ribeye steaks just added to your order at no cost to you. You're welcome. With Father's Day coming up and all the summer events and holidays on the horizon, this is the perfect time to try a box from Good Ranchers. Your dad, grandfather, father in law, husband, everyone, they need these ribeyes. You can make a one time purchase. Or better yet, subscribe and save 25% on every box. These are steakhouse quality. Claim your ribeyes before they run out. This is a limited stock item. First come, first serve, and you want to be first when it comes to good ranchers. They deliver the best of American farms and ranches to your door. Make sure you take time today, right now. Go to goodranchers.com slash Megan or use my code M-E-G-Y-N at checkout to get your two free 18-ounce ribeyes. Start summer off right with good ranchers. American meat delivered. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.